Hello and welcome to another episode of Two Minute Tuesday, where each week we bring you a different tech tip so that you can get back to doing what's important. Uh, there have been some phishing emails going around at work. Uh, we are not going to deal with that in this video, but if you click on that uh, and you put your email and your password in, uh, please go ahead and change your password. Uh, the instructions have been sent to you and I will uh, kind of copy those down in the, uh, in, the, in the body of the email that this comes with. So uh, please, if you work at the Santa Maria Joint Union High School District, you've clicked on the validate email, validate password thing, um, know that one, our district's never gonna do that, so you shouldn't, um, you shouldn't ever click that. Most legitimate companies are not gonna do that. Uh, this is a way for people to get your password and then use it uh, and continue on causing kind of destruction online. And that's part of um, becoming a digital citizen is, is recognizing that if something looks a little fishy, uh, you know, you can always call the company. Uh, you, you do, there are a number of things you can do. Uh, and we'll deal with that over the coming weeks. But um, if you've clicked on it already, uh, please change your password immediately. Otherwise, more emails will be sent out and it just kind of continues and snowballs from there. But this week, we're going to deal with Aries. Uh, we're going to be looking at how to transfer a student uh, from one class to another and really uh, what happens is sometimes a, a student transfers whether it's uh, goes from one teacher A to teacher B if you're teacher B now you have the student they are they're later than all the other students maybe it's a couple weeks maybe it's a couple days maybe it's a couple months but whatever it is uh, some of the assignments if you've already assigned an assignment uh, it will show up as not applicable uh, and really then you have to figure out kind of how, how you grade the student from there uh, and the truth is if, if they've already taken portion of the class uh, you can transfer their grade in and I'll show you how to do that today so let's go ahead and go uh, directly over to Aries now and we'll take a look here at Christine Leos. Uh, you can see that she doesn't have a grade first of all uh, she has not applicable for all of these assignments that were already scored so uh, in order to rectify that we're going to go ahead and go up to manage and then manage students And then we're going to look down here and you'll see that her, under her, next to her name, her start date is much later than everybody else's. Everybody else is 7-11-2017, but hers is 3-25-2018. So she came in very, very late. But luckily, she was actually going to school wherever else uh, that she was uh, living at the time, whether it was maybe she was just in a different class on campus, maybe she was at a completely different school, but we have a grade for her from her transcript or from the other teacher. However you get that grade, you just need to know that. So what we're going to do is we're going to slide over here to details. And we're going to put in a percentage. I know for a fact that she had a 77% because the other teacher told me, show me the grade, whatever it was. However I know that, that's what I know. Um, now, if we had the same homework, test, quiz, uh, presentation and reports categories, maybe our department's our PLC is really, really tight, and we all have those same percentages and all that stuff like that, I could actually enter those percentages here on the screen, and that would allow uh, the exact same way. But for now, I don't have that. Maybe the other teacher didn't give me those percentages. Maybe I use a different kind of weighting system that the other teacher uses, so we're not gonna do that. We're just gonna put in a 77%. I'm gonna hit save. We'll see that it shows up here. And then when we go back to scores by class, we slide over. We'll see that instead of not applicable, she has a 77% listed for all of these and she has a C plus. So now she can start and everything else that she does now will be graded uh, just like normal. Uh, and that should solve your issue. So uh, if you have any questions as to how to do that, you can always rewatch the video or you can get in contact with me. You can email me. Uh, you can click the link in the email below. You can set up an appointment with me, whatever you want. Also, in the description of the video, uh, there is a form. You can suggest topics you'd like to see, maybe questions you have. Let me know. I will answer them in a video or I'll answer them uh, to you in person or an email, uh, whatever works best for you. So that does it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. Once again, please make sure you fill out uh, the form in the description. Let me know what you'd like to see me cover. And until next time, uh, thanks for watching.